corruption? Joe, corruption exists virtually in every country. The difference is that uh, in some countries, when it is uh, uncovered, action is taken uh, against the people who are involved. Uh, and and that, that is where we are different. That's the reason why Kenya ranks very high in the Transparency International and the Corruption Index. I think this now ranks Kenya as the third most uh, corrupt country in the world. Kenya is playing in the Super League of uh, corruption. The giants like uh, Nicaragua, um, uh, 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 Sri Lanka, DR Congo, and but, so on. But, but even during your time as Prime Minister, we still were ranked together with Nepal and Nicaragua. No, 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 we were lower. We were lower. We, we, we have climbed much higher now. But what was happening is that we kept on going lower and lower uh, from where we took it when we took over from Kano. But, but, but tell us, what as president you do? What I'm saying is uh, the action is what is lacking. And here I say that the buck stops with the president. That action needs to be taken. When we were forming this NASA coalition, we sat down among ourselves and deliberated seriously on this issue. That's why you'll find it in our, our coalition agreement. You say that every a member of this uh, club will ensure that they don't do business with government. Uh, and that includes also their, their relatives. And that action will be taken against public servants who are involved in any kind of corrupt act. If you find a situation where a president convenes a meeting in the state house, to talk about corruption. And then, I admit publicly, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this, and this, this. what do you want me to do? I've failed. Basically, show ex experiencing failure. Mm -hmm. I say, Mr. President, the buck stops with you. Okay, if you okay, have failed, then pack up and go home. Well, that's fair enough, and that's, that's easy to say. But I have listened to the president when he speaks about corruption, and I think this is what he says, that he has uh, ensured his government has provided money to the agencies. He says all the commissions are independent, ESCC, Directorate of Criminal Investigations, the courts are independent, and that he fired certain people from his cabinet, which was within his powers to do, and that, based on what the Constitution says, there's nothing left for him to do. If you were in that situation, what is that other thing you would have done as President Raila Odinga? First, Mr. President needs to allow the independent institution to work independently. He took a, a list which had been given just for information, names which were still under investigations. And because he was in a hurry, he went and tabled it in Parliament. Some of those people had not been found guilty. There was no sufficient evidence against them. And he tarnished names of very many innocent people. Uh, then, on the other one, when we looked at that list, we found that a, a number of names were actually been missing. Some names had been expunged from it. And I challenged him. And I said there was a name here of the, then the Minister for, for uh, Revolution, which was here and has been removed. And I showed him where the, 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 the name had been removed. Then came the NYS case. And I told him, I know what is happening in Kibra. I know how NYS was being looted. And I said, the suspect is so-and-so. They came out and said, I should leave that lady alone. That I should face them directly, himself and his deputy. He could call a press conference in the State House. When later on evidence emerged linking that minister with that uh, scandal, Deputy President went to a church in Gidurai and said that that lady should stop speaking too much English. She must answer. You know, for information, Joe, that lady is the candidate of Jubilee for gubernatorial uh, uh, elections in Kirinyaga. So what would you have done, Mr. Odinga? I would have taken action a la Magafuli style. I would have magafuli her. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, 
take the NYS case for example, what would you have done about it that is different from what President Kenyatta did? NYS case? Yes. There was glaring evidence. Those companies which were formed are all fictitious names. They're basically uh, people who are fronting or the people behind it. It's very easy to find out who is behind this company, this company, this company. I can't even tell you the individuals who were involved. I will ensure that action is taken, and that money is recovered and put to good use. I told you that the mega corruption of GDP amounted to about 350 billion shillings. This was responsible for our plight today here. Every Kenyan is owed 7,500 uh, shillings by the Jubilee government. Every shilling that they spend, one shilling is lost. It's going to people's uh, private pockets. So they come up with budgets of billions and billions, billions. You put billions in health, billions in education, billions here. All those billions don't go to proper use. They're all misappropriated. I mean, a big chunk of it.